What up guys, this is Taylor. Um, I've actually got some Battlefield 3 gameplay for you guys. Uh, it's, it's pretty it's pretty entertaining. I'm getting a lot better at this game. Uh, the beginning of the game I actually did really bad, got a lot of deaths, but I skipped all that and I've cut together some of the parts of this gameplay. It's, it's really fun to just like cut together parts of Battlefield. And then in the end I do some sniping, so stay tuned for that because it's pretty sick. But anyways, so today, if you can't already tell, this is not going to be, um, you know, about the gameplay. You know, I, la I know a couple... Battlefield commentaries ago, I talked only about the Battlefield gameplay. I know a lot of people don't like that, but uh, so I'm going to be talking about something different. Uh, it's actually going to be a medical breakthrough uh, in science. But before I get into that, you guys should already probably know by the title. But before I get into that, um, I do want to say that this will probably be going up on a Sunday or a Monday, uh, depending on how many videos I get uh, out out tonight, which tonight's a Thursday, because I really am trying to. Um, push out a lot of videos because I will be gone all uh, most of next week but uh, anyways so let's get right into this medical breakthrough so anyways uh, I've said so anyways like that probably uh, five to six times already this commentary but uh, so this medical breakthrough that's been going on uh, in the medicine world it actually has occurred about a month or uh, about a week ago a week to two weeks ago it's been released uh, in mainstream news uh, it might have been on, going on before that but I didn't hear about it until about a week ago in mainstream news so, essentially what it is, is it's a quote-unquote cure for cancer. And now, if you don't know, I'm going to give you a little bit of a medical lesson here of how cancer works. Uh, so, cancerous cells, uh, malicious cells, they, they reproduce really fast. They just divide and divide and divide and they, and they just spread. And, um, you know, the reason that, and they are foreign antibodies, and the reason that they are not uh, attacked by our human immune system is because of the fact that they release... Uh, these certain proteins called CD47, that's a specific type of protein that uh, cancers release into uh, the body, which triggers the immune system. It's like, okay, don't go after me, I'm part of your body. Um, and so that protein essentially allows the cancers to go throughout your body, multiply, and just, just keep going, keep going, keep going, like that. And so this new drug that's come out, I'm not entirely sure, it ha doesn't have a name yet, uh, because it's, I don't know what was going on here, I couldn't move, I was trying to move, looking at the ground, I just couldn't, couldn't move around there for some strange reason, but, uh, anyways, so, there's this new drug, and uh, it's in the testing phases, it's still being tested on mice, but they just received a 20 million dollar grant to test, uh, start testing on humans, so that'll be pretty cool. Oh, check this out, Nated killed through the wall with, I don't even know, Call of Duty status, and then I get the kill. But, uh, so uh, they have, they just received a twenty million dollar grant to uh, I completely forgot what I was talking about oh oh to so start human testing excuse me while I get a drink didn't feel like cutting the commentary keeping it real for all you bros um, so what it, okay so here's what the drug does it essentially blocks the receptors that the cancer sends the protein to so the cancer sends the protein into the brain and the brain's like okay that's part of the body don't attack it uh, look at that i spawn in with my sniper and die instantly god i need to get off topic of the gameplay uh, but before i do i do have to mention one other thing about the gameplay um, and that is uh, the fact that i absolutely destroyed these two guys coming up check this out deploy in with my sniper turn around the corner zoom in fire collateral my first collateral on Battlefield 3, I felt pretty pretty uh, excited about that. But anyway, so this anti oh, what is it? Antibody? I don't, I don't even know what it is. This drug attaches itself to the receptors in the brain and does not allow for the protein from the cancer cells to enter into the brain. So the brain doesn't see these at, as friendly cells. The brain sees these as um, cancerous cells like they are, and it sends immune system to attack them. And so thus far, the testing has only been on mice, but the mice have been um, infused with, you know, like human lung cancer, human heart cancer, uh, human liver cancer, human kidney cancer, all sorts of cancers from humans. They, people who are dying of that type of cancer, they take the, some of the cancer out of them. Uh, they take some of the cells and they implant it in mice. So the mice are essentially dying from this cancer. It's kind of like animal cruelty, but in the long run, it really does help out. So the... Uh, the mice have this cancer and are dying, and they put the drug and they, they inject the cure into them, and it cures them. It literally takes away all of the um, the cancer cells in the mice, and it completely cures them of the cancer. And so now that's a huge breakthrough in science. If you guys can imagine 
uh, living in a world without cancer, that means you don't have to worry about any of the type of cancers that are that are out there. That could be such a huge, such a huge deal for so many people who are suffering from cancer in their lives today. And uh, so now, like I said, they've received a $20 million grant. I'm not sure from who, um, but they did receive it. So that way they can start with people who want to volunteer, uh, people who are dying of liver cancer or in like the last terminal stage, whatever, blah, blah, blah. They're, they're, they're about to die of cancer. They can volunteer themselves and they can now um, attempt to be cured. They can, they can go into the treatment center. The people will inject them with the cure and do testing on them and try to cure them. And so it benefits two people in the process. It benefits the person who's being cured. And it also benefits the researchers and scientists who are trying to figure this drug out. So that's the breaking news in the medical world today. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the subject. Uh, I'm really, I'm really excited about this. You know, I've known, I've known a couple people who have had cancer. Um, and it's, it's not, it's not a fun thing. You know, chemotherapy is just not a good thing at all. Uh, but anyways, again, let me know what you guys think. If you did enjoy the video, wow, I just burped into the mic. That's really kind of disgusting. Excuse me. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to drop it a like. I know it's Battlefield, but hopefully you guys won't mind and you will enjoy it. And uh, my name's been Taylor. Subscribe if you're new. Comment below, and uh, I'll talk to you all in the next video. Peace out, you guys.